How many Pikmin does it take to steal a car? Lucky enough for you, I figured it out. So stick around till the end of the video because the answer may surprise you. I love Pikmin. Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, Pikmin 3, Pikmin 4. If I got stranded on a deserted island with Pikmin as my sole resource for survival, I'd die. But at least my last few days would be enjoyable. There is one thing I've always wondered about Pikmin since the day I first embarked on my quest to repair the SS Dolphin, and that's just how strong each one of these little buggers actually are. The game doesn't give us too much to go off of other than how many Pikmin it takes to lift a given item. Sure, we could try to attach weights to certain items like the fruit from Pikmin 3 or the battery or bottle caps from Pikmin 2 to try and put together some sort of formula to figure this out. But there's no guarantee that the weights of these items are the same as we know them to be in our world. However, the last time I played through Pikmin 2, there was something I noticed that blew this entire question wide open. In the Wistful Wild level of Pikmin 2, there is one treasure that gives you its exact weight using real-world metrics. I'm speaking, of course, of the one kilogram dumbbell. I'm sure plenty of people have noticed this, and I'm sure plenty of people have said, oh hey, we could do the math to find out the strength of a Pikmin. But I actually did the math for you folks. Let's look at it. So the one kilogram dumbbell takes 100 purple Pikmin to carry. Therefore, it takes the strength of 1,000 Pikmin to lift one kilogram of weight or 2.2 pounds, because I'm a silly American. One kilogram divided equally among 1,000 Pikmin is one gram per Pikmin, and 2.2 pounds divided equally among 1,000 Pikmin is 0.0022 pounds, meaning an individual Pikmin on its own can handle 0.0022 pounds, or one gram. With these numbers, we can figure out the number of Pikmin it takes to lift literally anything, by simply dividing the weight of any object by 0.0022 pounds. Something to note with these numbers is that we might not be able to use them to work backwards for the most accurate reading on the exact weights of some of the other in-game treasures. This is because we're assuming that 0.0022 pounds is the absolute max weight that an individual non-purple Pikmin can possibly carry, evidenced by the fact that this is the only treasure in the game that the Pikmin only managed to carry at a snail's pace. This slow crawl is proof enough that this is the limit. One kilogram divided into the strength of 1,000 Pikmin is the limit of what a Pikmin can possibly carry. Another way of putting it is that some of the other treasures that you pick up in the game aren't actually utilizing a Pikmin's maximum potential strength. The dumbbell is. While we can't get an accurate read on the weight of the other items in the game with these numbers, a kilogram is a unit of measurement that exists within our world. And assuming my theory about this math proving the limit of an individual Pikmin strength is correct, these numbers should be applicable in figuring out how many Pikmin we would need to complete certain tasks in the real world. For example, how many Pikmin does it take to steal a car? Well, if we were to have the Pikmin remove the driver, GTA style, and then rather than driving the car away, let's have the Pikmin carry it away. The average weight of a human being is 137 pounds, and the average weight of a car is roughly 3,000 pounds. If you divide 137 pounds into the 0 .0022 number we found before, you would find out that you need approximately 62,272 Pikmin to carry the driver out of the car. And then you would also need 1,363,636 Pikmin to lift the 3,000 pound car. You probably want enough Pikmin to cover both of these tasks at once so that the driver doesn't retaliate and try to steal their car back. So, if you're using Pikmin to steal a car, I recommend bringing along at least 1,425,908 Pikmin. Of course, these numbers are found just using the average weights of cars. To actually successfully steal specific models of cars, we're going to have to get a little more specific. So for example, if you want to get your hands on your neighbor's 2022 Tesla Model 3, those could weigh up to 4,250 pounds, which would take 1,931,819 Pikmin. But we have more class than that, so let's try and steal a 2007 Subaru Outback, which weighs about 3,610 pounds, which would take 1,000,000 640,910 Pikmin. Maybe you're a real weirdo and you're trying to steal a loaded school bus. An empty school bus weighs about 15,000 pounds, which would take about 6,818,182 Pikmin to lift. A normal school bus can seat between 17 to 54 people, and the average weight of a 10-year-old child is 40 to 90 pounds. So in order to prepare for the highest possible end of that scenario, we're going to assume for our math that there are 54 90-pound children aboard this bus, which would mean there's 
requires 4,860 pounds of extra weight to carry, which would take 2,209,091 Pikmin to carry. That means to steal a fully loaded school bus, it would take almost 10 million Pikmin. This is very important work we're doing here, folks. You know that, right? Now I want you to use my numbers. Think up the most bizarre task you can think of for a group of Pikmin to accomplish, and use my numbers to figure out how many Pikmin you would need to achieve it. One week after this video comes out, I'll pin my favorite answer in the comments below. And for the record, GameGuy53 does not condone stealing anything, especially not loaded school buses. Why would you guys even ask me to do that calculation? What is wrong with you?